Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be trying the new Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow SPF 30 Moisturizing Skin Tint. It says it's got watermelon, apple hyaluronic acid, like I said, an SPF of 30. And this is Too Faced's latest complexion product. I cannot wait to try it. I ended up getting two shades because I was not sure which one would match me better, which one I would like better. So I got the shades Porcelain and Nude, and I cannot wait to try them. As you can see, I already did my brows, my skin is prepped, nice and hydrated and whatnot. And I can't wait to try these on and tell you everything about them so if you're excited for today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started <laughs> I did a Dr. Dennis Gross face peel a few minutes ago and so I followed it up with this skincare which is different to my usual because I wanted something that was going to be nice and calming so I'm using the Sika Pear from Dr. Jard and the Ceramidin Cream right here. I bought these as a duo, I think probably during the last Sephora sale. And I use them on days where my skin seems to be a bit extra sensitive or where I do something to my skin that might make it a little bit extra sensitive just to calm things down and I love these products. And so after the Dr. Dennis Gross peel and those two, this is what my skin is looking like. Not too, too red. I definitely have had worse days. This is more on the calmer side for me. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and start talking about these products. Here's what the gorgeous outer packaging looks like. This is said to be infused with coconut water, which aids in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels, alpine rose, which helps empower skin's health and radiance, hyaluronic acid, which gives a smoother, more youthful appearance to the face, and then it says to shake well before use. It says it's a 24 hour wear, vegan product, all day hydration, and it is non acnegenic. All of those are, of course, amazing claims. And besides that, when I was reading the Sephora website before, it said that it was an oil free product as well. So maybe that's why they can claim to be non acnegenic, because I know that oils in formulas can sometimes cause people to break out. Anyways, let's go ahead and open these up and see which shade I'm going to end up with. Take a look right here at what the actual component looks like. And just by looking at them, I can tell you that um, porcelain is going to be my right shade because even though this is not clear, the nude one looks a bit dark. Both of these have a neutral undertone, which is what I usually like to go. I was like 90% sure that I was going to be porcelain, but when looking at them on the website, I feel like the pictures are very bright, and so I thought maybe nude might be the color for me. But I can tell you right now that it's not. I think porcelain is going to be perfect, so I'm just gonna put this one back in its box so that I can um, bring it back. As far as primer is concerned, I think I'm going to go with my Gucci primer. This one is nice and hydrating, but it also gives a nice blurring effect to my pores and I feel like it's going to go well with this foundation. We'll see. Overall, I do really like this primer with any foundation I use it with, so hopefully this is no exception. Whenever I try a new foundation, I try to always pair it with things that I'm used to using a lot so that I know exactly what it should look like, and so that's why I'm going to use this Gucci primer. Ideally, I would love to use my Dennis & Myricks Balm, because that's my current favorite primer, but it has coverage, and so it doesn't work for me for foundation reviews because I want to see the coverage that the product that I'm testing out brings on its own, you know? <laughs> Anyways, the Gucci primer has been applied, and it is time to try this one. Let's see what the consistency is like. Nice and liquidy, but not too, too runny. <laughs> And I do think that I am going to like this color. In fact, it might be a little bit darker than I am right now, but that's totally okay. I'm going to use this sponge and I'm going to start blending it on this side of my face. By the way, as far as the coverage is concerned, this is supposed to have a medium coverage. So, just like I thought, this color, perfection. If we're Shade Twins, then you are porcelain. I just lowered my side lights a bit because I thought I was a bit too bright. So here's what it's looking like. As you can see, all of the redness I had on this cheek was immediately covered and it is applying wonderfully with the sponge. So I'm just gonna keep going with it. And hopefully this side, which was the redder side, will also be kind of immediately covered. Um, this foundation and of course the packaging of this foundation reminds me a lot of the face and body backstage foundation from Dior. 
and they seem to have a similar amount of coverage and a similar amount of glow to them as well. As you can see, the redness on this side of my face is pretty much covered as well, which is very exciting. And let's move on to the forehead. I absolutely love the shade Porcelain on my face, by the way. This is definitely the right color for me. Let me go ahead and lower the light and show you what this looks like with the light down. As you can see, all of my freckles are still showing through, and you can see a bit of the redness that I have on my face, maybe like a tiny bit of it peeking through a bit, but it looks extremely natural. It is a very thin foundation with a natural to glowy finish, and so far I have zero complaints about it. This is definitely the types of foundations that I end up enjoying most. It's not extremely glowy, but also it doesn't have a matte finish. It looks natural to glowy and it is a thin product that sinks right into the skin which also makes it look very natural besides that I love that it has an SPF of 30 the issue with foundations having SPF is not that the SPF isn't effective I believe the main problem is that the SPF is effective for a couple of hours you know whenever you apply sunscreen on your face or body you have to reapply after two hours well it would technically be the same thing with your foundation products and after you put bronzer and blush and all of that on nobody's going to be reapplying their skin tint so then you would have to find a different type of SPF to have on you know me personally if I'm going to be out in the Sun doing something recreational for the most part I'll probably just not wear makeup so that I can have my SPF freshly applied like if I'm going to a pool or a beach or something like that I would rather have um, no makeup on so that I can reapply my SPF several times you know anyways the light is back up and here is what I'm looking like I am really liking the way this looks so far. So let's go ahead and apply my color corrector and concealer so that we can set the face with a bit of translucent powder. This is my trusty Charlotte Tilbury color corrector in the shade medium and I'm just dabbing it with a refer number 36 brush underneath my eye and also on the inner corner. For concealer, I'm going with one of my favorites. This is the Armani concealer the Power Fabric Concealer from Armani, which I love. And I use mine in the shade, ooh, I believe that might say 3.5, but I'm not sure. Adding a little bit more right underneath my brows here. So with my little brush, I'm going to blend it under the brow and onto the eye a little bit. And then with my sponge, I'm just going to blend it out underneath the eyes. To set everything, I'm going to use my Pat McGrath Under Eye Translucent Powder and my Way Number 3 brush, and I'm just going to dab this all throughout the center of my face, patting it starting underneath the eye and then spreading it onto my cheeks a bit. I love this powder because it's really nice and blurring, so I'm just adding it to the center of the forehead, nose, and all the way down to my chin. Now that all of my cream products are applied and set, let me lower the light one more time. To show you what things are looking like as you can see very nice and natural all of my retinas is covered which i love and the skin in my personal humble opinion looking really really good i'm so excited that this product is performing to my expectations of it <laughs> for contour slash bronzer i'm going to use my m cosmetics contour stick in the shade terra which I love. I'm not going to be too heavy-handed with this one because this is pigmented stuff right here. And it looks so natural and it blends out so easily and I love it. So with the same sponge I've been using, I'm just blending this out and then I'm blending out my nose with a small brush. For my blush, I'm going with Miss Charlotte Tilbury in Peach Pop. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, let's distribute it. <laughs> and once again, with my same sponge, just blending that out. I love this blush. It looks so natural. So take a look right here at what the complexion looks like. Freshly applied. I am so far beyond impressed. I am very obsessed with everything I've seen. I have not had one negative thing to say about this one. It is perfection. And I'm about to go downstairs and show you what this looks like in natural light. It is nice and warm out. The day is beautiful. Um, let me show you. Ah, oh, it is so pretty outside. Okay, back to the foundation. And this is what it looks like in natural lights, as you can see. 
Honestly, it looks fantastic. I have no complaints. This is one of the best ones I've tried lately. Honestly, I have no complaints. This one has the perfect amount of coverage for me. It has the perfect consistency. It has the perfect finish. I love it. It builds up nicely. It's such a nice skin tint. I knew Too Faced would not do me wrong, by the way, because I have been a big fan of the Born This Way foundation for a very, very long time. So I felt in my heart that this one was going to be amazing and I am not disappointed at all whatsoever. Okay, so it is currently two o'clock. I would show you, but I'm filming on my phone. It's currently two o'clock um, and I'm going to see you guys later to see how the foundation is wearing. My prediction is that it's going to look fantastic all day, so we'll see how that holds up. <laughs> it is 4.20 right now, which means I've probably had this makeup on for like two and a half hours at this point, so I'm back to give you a check-in on how things are looking. I added a bit of highlighter to the top of my cheekbone because when I created this eye look, I felt like I needed it. And if you're wondering about this eye look, I am reviewing the Noma Cosmetics Royal Euro Palette and that video will be up tomorrow with three different looks. This is just one of them. So here's a little preview. Um, anyways, I finished up my makeup with my eyes and a bit of highlighter since you've last seen me. But as far as the foundation from Too Faced is concerned, everything is looking freaking fabulous. I'm having a bit of an issue with my under eyes looking very dry today, but that has nothing to do with this foundation. The foundation itself looks spectacular in my opinion. My skin looks so natural. I can already tell you, and I'm not saying this lightly, that this is probably going to become a favorite of mine because I am really, really loving the way this looks. I tend to go for the natural finish, the medium coverage, the thin foundation. And so this particular foundation from Too Faced does meet all of my most looked for features in a foundation, which is why I'm extra excited about it and I do think that it's going to become a favorite because I literally have not had one negative thing to say about this foundation since I started the video. It is not too glowy, it is not too matte, it has the perfect amount of coverage in my opinion. It covered all of my redness without looking too heavy or dry at all on me. Again, perfection so far, I am really loving it and so I can't wait to come back later and give you a last update once I've been wearing it for probably five, six hours, maybe seven, we'll see. And we'll see how it looks like then. Almost 11 o'clock at night right now, so I've been wearing this foundation for a very long time, definitely more than eight hours, almost nine I would say. And this foundation has held up beautifully. I still look amazing in my opinion. The skin is definitely a bit more glowy now than it was this morning, but it doesn't look overly greasy in my opinion. Things are looking good. The foundation didn't get overly oily throughout the day. It's holding up pretty good. It definitely did not get dry whatsoever. And I feel like for nine hours, my face still looks really good. I could touch up right now, just add a bit of powder right here in the center to make it last longer if I wanted to, but it is the end of the day for me, so I'm not going to do that. I'm actually dying to take off this makeup. And so if I had to rate it, I would give it like a 15 out of 10, okay? This foundation is amazing. I am very, very impressed by it. And I think I'm gonna have to do a ranking of all of the foundations I've tried since the year started. That definitely will be coming soon and I just I'm going to say this right now whenever I do that foundation ranking I think this one is most likely going to be at the very top this one is probably the best one I've tried this year or maybe I should say this one is the one that best meets my foundation preferences anyways if you guys like this video and this video was helpful don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave if you're interested in buying this foundation which i very highly recommend especially if you're into the types of foundations that i'm into please do so shopping my links down below in the description box whenever you shop my links you help my channel also if you're new here my name is patty and i love to keep you up to date with all things makeup so please don't leave without subscribing I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.